All right, in this video, we're going to look at a couple of theorems here um, related to triangles. So in this case, we know the lengths of a triangle, and we're trying to gleam some information about the angles. So we have this longer sides theorem, which basically states that if we have a triangle and one side's longer than another, then the angle across from that side will be larger than the other one. Let me, let me make sense of this. Our longest side here is 25. That's the longest part of the triangle. The angle across from this side is angle C. And so what that means is that angle C is the largest angle of all of these. Our next largest side is 20, and 20 is across from angle B. So angle B is the next largest, and then across from 8 is angle A, so angle A is the smallest. So, and you can look at this, this makes sense. Look at the angle of C, it's much larger than angle A. And this is just the relationship, the longer sides theorem. Now, as far as telling which angle is across from each other, so angle C, what you say is these are the two sides that make up angle C. So it's the third side that's across from it, if you're having trouble figuring that out. The flip side of this theorem is that if you look at angles, and we're trying to rank them, this is the smallest angle. So the side across from it is the smallest side. So it works both ways. So that means segment AB is the smallest <coughs> of these. And again, the way I know it's across, 25 degrees is made up of these two sides. So it's the third side that we say is across from it. The next is 70 degrees. So segment BC is across from that. And 85 degrees, segment AC is across from that. And this, you know, you can't really go by looks in most geometry problems, but in this case, you can kind of see that, again, yeah, the one with the bigger angle is going to be the largest side across from it. And that is just how we use the longer sides or larger angles theorem. And that's it. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.